Okay, what's up everyone? It's a lot of sweetness 2011 and I have an uh an easy GIMP how to tutorial. I know I told you the other day or the day before yesterday that I would make a video on Wednesday, so here it is. Today in this video I'm gonna show you how to create this neat little cracked face look in GIMP. So I've already placed an image in GIMP so it's made its own layer like so. So now what you want to do now what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this and once we duplicate it you're going to click your paint bucket tool or your bucket fill tool and make sure your foreground color is black and fill whole selection is selected and just fill that selection in now take that layer here and that black layer here and place that underneath the image layer and once you have that we're going to go back up here and right click this image and I'm going to make sure add alpha channel is is on and you can do so by right clicking that and clicking add alpha channel and now what we're going to do is click the eraser tool and make sure the largest fuzzy brush is selected by default on GIMP and may I'm just leave the opacity all the way up to 100 and I turn the scale up to 4.10 and we're just I'm just going to erase some of this access of the man's shirt and some of the other stuff that we don't really need really and I'm going to erase this little white line because on this image it has a white line on it around the border of the image so I'm just going to erase that and once you have all that erased now what we need to do is place the crack texture image onto this picture to give it the look that his face is cracked so now what I'm going to do is go to file open as layers and I'm going to open the image that I have saved to give the cracked look for his face and I'm going to double click this image to open it as a layer now I'm going to click the scale tool because this image is extremely big And I'm going to scale that down to 1130 by 754. And I'm just going to press scale. Now that was with the chain checked. So now I'm going to take the. I'm actually going to change the layer mode of this layer here to burn. And that pretty much gives it a pretty cool looking cracked um, effect on his face and so I'm going to take the move tool because I don't like the position of this layer over his face and let's say this is where I want it so now what I'm going to do is right click that layer and layer to image size now what we're going to do is merge this layer down to the image layer, the the man's face layer that we have. So we're just going to merge that down. So now I'm going to click the eraser tool and make sure the opacity is all the way up and the fuzzy largest fuzzy brush is selected for your brush and the scale is still at 4.10. I'm just going to erase some of this access around the face around here. and around here like so now once you have some something similar to this I guess if this is the way you want to do it I'm going to now you can stop here this is it I mean this already looks pretty neat you can stop here but I like this um, I've done a few other things to this. I'm actually going to go to, with this layer still selected, I'm going to go to Colors and Colorize. And I'm going to change the color to a, I'm going to change the hue, turn the hue up, or actually, excuse me, down to give, um, give it a more green look. And the hue, if you want to add color to this, then the hue that I have is set to zero, I mean, 108 and I'm going to turn the saturation up a little bit 
and the lightness down. And the saturation that I have is, is, is at 59 and the lightness is at negative 46 and I'm going to press OK. Now like I said you don't have to add color to this, this is just totally up to you but I like to add color because this can actually give it a pretty neat look if you want to make an make a bigger image so you can place this on your uh, wallpaper on your computer as a desktop background so I'm actually going to with this layer still selected click the scale tool and I'm going to scale this down like so and then just spread scale and I'm going to take the move tool and I'm going to position this in the corner like so and I'm going to click this background layer so it selects everything. And I'm going to zoom in into this so you can get a little better detail of what it looks like. I mean, this looks pretty cool. So if you like this, give it a big thumbs up. And I appreciate everyone subscribing to my channel. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more ideas from people that have subscribed uh, for future videos. That would be a big help, a tremendous help actually, uh, because my ideas are starting to run to, to a slim, uh, slim to none type of deal, or come to a halt, if I might say. But like I said, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up, and I appreciate all my subscribers. Thanks for watching everyone. Peace out.